G'day guys, Define from Define Mods here. So this is the uh, promised second video of the Budget Prusa build. Um, I've sort of advanced a fair way from the last one and um, still nowhere near finished. Um, um, it was a hell of a learning curve, I've got to admit there's uh, a lot of quirks and, and, and um, yeah a lot of um, surprises. As you, as you build one of these things, especially from scratch. Um, if you're building a kit and the kit's all there and all the parts, I can imagine that, you know, it, you know it'd be a pretty straightforward experience. Um, a lot of the things boggled my mind as to why they do it this way or, or, or why, you know. Um, but, you know, after building Vorons and the like, um, you know, you, you tend to, you tend to get spoiled, I suppose that could be a word, or you tend to get a mindset, you tend to learn a mindset and, and a way of doing things with a certain degree and quality of what you're dealing with, uh, an appreciation for um, the design that's gone, the design work that's gone into it. Um, with depreciation, um, <laughs> or appreciation, I should say, yeah, it was more like depreciation, but my appreciation for... Um, uh, for what I built here isn't isn't um, isn't grand, and um, well, I've no doubt that it's going to be a fantastic machine. It's going to print well. It's going to be reliable as as um, as reliable as they say as if. Um, uh, but you know, I just yeah, well, I just I think there's um, there's some pretty good machines out there nowadays, and and, and this Mark III has a lot of stiff competition um, and, and as you're watching this the Mark IV's already been released and, and um, I don't think I'd be going down that path I, I don't know why I don't know what it does better um, I don't see why I couldn't get this to print as fast as a Mark IV you know um, I'll probably go down the octopus um, octopus the octo print way with, with this um, just for the sake of, um, of of having a play around with it, you know, I've done the clipper thing, and I can appreciate that. I, I think what I'll do with um, um, with this is maybe go Raspberry Pi and um, hit it up. But as of now, it's working. Um, I think my biggest expenditure in the budget build was the bed. Um, I had to order the bed. It's not a genuine bed, but it's you know, <laughs> I don't know what you'd. Um, don't know the differences but it's, it's nice um, my next big expenditure will be the fans I got caught out by that I, I was just of the mindset that these were 24 volt fans they're not they're 5 volt PWM fans so you've got to have three wires a sensing wire as well um, so that that'll be a that's that's a bit of a blowout unfortunately um, the Pinder probe was part of the bed kit when I got the bed kit I think all that was around about a hundred bucks. Um, I remember getting the motherboard for maybe fifty dollars, somewhere in the fifty dollar mark. The frame I, ended, I bought for fifty bucks, um, which was what started all this. Somebody had obviously done a bear a bear frame or something similar, and didn't want this frame anymore. So that got me started on my journey. My rails, my motors, um, all my other bits and pieces are, are, are all parts that I've had laying around the power supply, I had to do a slight modification for the smaller, uh, thinner power supply. Um, I didn't realize how crucial the power supply was to the stiffness of the frame. Without that power supply, this frame is would be akin to, you know, the old plastic printers. It's just, it's so much wobble, you know, compared to an end of three frame, which is, you know, probably one of the most rigid things you'll feel in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in printing. Um, this is just wobbly as f, and uh, I, I understand that they've, they've fixed that a bit with the um, with the with the Mark IV, but I think what you've got to understand is is where these frames and the way they bolt on. You know that they they, they, um, they they bolt you know two going that way, two going that way with a cross brace, two coming this way, two coming this way with a cross brace, and then they both join to this frame. Well, you know, that's uh, from an engineering standpoint. I, I don't think that's uh, 
the greatest thing on earth. You know, you're, you're always going to be better off, but you've got to you've got to hold this frame, you know, and this frame has to have that lettering on it. So I, I imagine that that's what that's all about. But um, yeah, look, once once the uh, once the power supply is bolted on there, it does make the frame a lot stiffer. And I imagine you could do a little bit more bracing to fix that. Sorry about my focus, you know, phone cameras. It's a thing. Um, I ended up uh, printing a mod for it for the the larger fan. I, I don't want um, I, you, if if you've ever run Ender style power supplies or the Meanwell Ender style power supplies, you know they can get a bit a bit rowdy. So I've uh, I've done the fan mod to it with a nice sun on fan, a maglev fan, so it should stay nice and quiet. Um, once the proper fans are installed there, it should be quiet. Um, surprisingly, um, <laughs> um, unlike the uh, Unlike other boards, that board needs no cooling. It's, you know, which is great, fantastic. It's gonna be nice and quiet. Um, and the rails are still a bit. These these are rods, are not rails. These rods are still loud. These aren't loud. The the the, the Z axis, they're not loud simply because you know the speed is moving up and down. But I'd imagine that these these rails could get a a tad. Well, they will. And the bed rails, um, the bed uh, the bed. Um, bars or rods they got they were they were noisy as f as well they drove me nuts though so i ended up i ended up doing the um, um the rail mod uh, much quieter much 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 quieter um, i voted on the ultimate prusa because hey i like that um, the lead screws were supplied just spares a couple of spares i've had laying around for yonks i, I don't even know what they're off to be honest i, I couldn't tell you what they were off but they're a matching pair. Um, the steppers, uh, all the stepper motors were just a mix of what I've had laying around. Um, I think in the end I ended up going with a few, uh, with, with a mix of Troxy and Ender stepper motors. No problems with that, you know, they'll work fine. If they don't, well, then I'll upgrade them down the track. The extruder is a Moons, so that's a, that's a, that's a, I, I rate that. I rate that as a, as a pretty decent sort of stepper. Uh, Troxy. And um, again, uh, Tronxy, Tronxy. I've had to run the coupling. I don't see a problem with that. That doesn't worry me at all. Um, I know the new one comes out with those new um, no something drivers, uh, new uh, something steppers, whatever that is, you know. Cool. Um, this isn't gonna be a, a main machine. I've got, um, as you all know, there's a, a, a three, um, Bamboo Labs machines inside, which do the bulk of my printing, and that they've been <laughs> they've been printing flawlessly for so so long. But this isn't uh, a Prusa versus Ender thing. Uh, a Prusa versus uh, it should be a Prusa versus Ender because you know that to me that's their competition. But um, it shouldn't be a Prusa versus um, Bamboo Labs. Two completely different machines that do completely different things for completely different reasons. You know, I. I, I yeah, you just keep seeing it and seeing it and seeing it. You know, this this is not a bamboo labs, and and a bamboo labs is not this. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry. You compare a bamboo labs to a fast, I don't know, flash forward or or or, or, or a, you know something enclosed that runs. You know. Anyway, but getting off that subject. To this, it seems to be working fine. I haven't gone through the setup. The firmware was just whatever I could download off the net, and it seemed to work. Um, I haven't run through its uh, its initial um, uh, when it first starts up. It's got a, a, a wizard that, that walks you through everything. Uh, basically, no point without the fans. I imagine at some point um, it's going to run into a drama with those fans. So I, I just don't bother. Uh, but it is it is um, it is working fine. You know, it um, goes through the menu. Uh, it will preheat. Although I don't want to do that too much. Um, it will move accesses as you would expect you know there's no problems there it will um, yeah sorry about fingers it will uh, it seems to be a thing just where they bang into everything and stop um, it's just how they seem to roll Probe seems to do its thing. Well, or not in this case. Oh, 
or not. <laughs> Thanks, probe. But yeah, like everything seems to be working fine. Um, apart from, um, apart from um, being able to actually, you know, start it, start it up and print and, and run through the process, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I might have to do a few adjustments after that. I hope I haven't damaged the bed. Go on your Prusa. Rock solid. Off to a flying start. I'm not too worried about these bits sticking out the top. I can always um, <laughs> always chop them off. But I think I might put some sexy little things up there that might spin around, you know. Might look cool as it's going around. But other than that, um, I'm probably going to do a little bit of a bit more of this. I like this. I like this look. I'm probably going to do a little cap for up, for up there. Um, and some little inserts that run down into these to uh, to to uh, jazz it up a bit. Um, maybe maybe something on those. Reprint those. Um, that's you know good old bamboo doing its thing. You can't even. That almost looks like it's been printed on there. That's a play on words, isn't it? Printed. But yeah, print printed on there, but printed in there. But yeah. Um, yeah, but so far so good. Um, I might put a list of the the mods. That I've, that I've added to it um, it's got a genuine e, uh, what is it e, V6 E3D V6 hot end in it uh, the extruder seems to be working well it's got the filament sensor uh, load it Maybe, maybe I might uh, at some point I might upgrade that. I might change that. I've got a few, a few different um, 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 extruders that I can play around with down the track if I want to. But there's no reason why that one shouldn't work. It's it's uh, set up as per as per the book. Uh, but other than that, guys, uh, I'm, you know it's pretty much coming to an end. I'll probably do a um, a little video on it. A little I'll do a little. Uh, a little reel at the end once it's um once it's 100 percent complete and uh sharp printing but but that's it for now um cheers for coming along on a little journey um I, I think so far i've managed to get a built for under 400 bucks it might blow out a little bit um but i think a prusa up and running and printing and doing its thing for for 400 aussie dollars not 400 um uh, any other dollars 400 aussie dollars you know which is way less american dollars and so on and so on. I, I think that's not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. Um, uh, one other thing I may do. I'm still not sold. I'll just see how how it works. I, I'm thinking that, um, I've, like I say, I've got no use for a bed slingers anymore at this size. Um, bamboo just make all these things obsolete now. Um, and, and if my bamboos wear out in a year, well, well shit, I'll just buy another one. That's <laughs> that's not a big deal. Um, if um, if I if I feel inclined, I might I might do what this guy's done. I found this floating around on the net, and this guy's done uh, rails up and down. And uh, what he does is they run the, the the linear rod with the rail, so the rod's more just a, a a support factor in the rail. I'd almost imagine you could almost get away with um, not running that second one, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe two linear, I've got enough to do it, so maybe two linear dual linear rail and skip the rod, but we'll have a look. I've got no interest in an MMU. I've got bamboos. Um, but yeah, yeah, that might be something down the track that I do. Um, but other than that, that's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, look out for the next video. That might be something to do with a little rook. That might be the next thing I do. Um, I've got a five to do. I've got an ender I want to complete up there. That's a, I'm trying to hot rot the shit out of this old ender. Um, that will get decommissioned. But that's probably looking like the next project right there. So look out for that one, guys, and have a good one. Cheers.